Hi everyone. Today I want to build something that will help to speed up the process of sharpening chisels and hand plane cutting irons. Up until now I've always used my vise to hold my sharpening plates and stones. So I want to build some sort of tray to hold them all so that I can move from one to the other quickly and efficiently. I have four requirements for the sharpening station. The first is that I want it to hold all of the items that I use for sharpening and I'll talk about those in a little while. The second requirement is that I want it to be mountable in my vise so that will give me a nice stable platform on which to sharpen. Thirdly, I use soapy water when I sharpen so I want to make something that's easy to clean up or something that perhaps helps to contain the water, a tray underneath it or something along those lines. And finally, it needs to fit inside of this drawer because my workshop is small so I don't really have anywhere else to put it and also it would be good to have it right by the workbench. This is generally what I use for sharpening. I start on this diamond plate which is 360 and 600 grit. Then I use this water stone which is 1000 and 6000 grit. And finally I use a piece of MDF charged with this green polishing compound. And I also use one of these honing guides. I will include some Amazon links to all of these products in the description box below this video if you're interested in checking any of them out. So I've been given a bit of thought to how I can make something that's easy to clean or that will help to contain the water and I had a look around my house and I found this old paint tray and I thought that I could perhaps build something out of wood to go over the top of this and then this would catch all of the excess water and gather at the bottom. But unfortunately this tray is too wide to fit inside my drawer and it's not quite long enough to hold all of my sharpening stones either. I'd really like to not use so much wood on this project because obviously that's going to soak up the moisture over time no matter how well I try to seal the wood. And then I remembered that I've got a few sheets of this 6mm thick Perspex and as usual I would rather make use of something that I already have rather than go out and buy anything. So this is what I'm going to use. The full depth of my drawer is 470mm so I'm going to make the sharpening station around 460mm in length to make sure that it will fit inside. And I would like all of these to be laid out in a way in which I can fully use the whole surface of each plate or stone. So I'm just going to position them in a way that I think will work best. And then I can take down some measurements. I know that I want the overall size to be 460 millimeters by 280 millimeters so that it fits inside my drawer. I want some sort of border around the edges that's probably about 20 millimeters. And then I'll need some spacers in between the stones. I began by cutting a piece of Perspex to the size that I wanted the sharpening station to be. Then I ripped some 20mm strips to form the border. I sanded the sharp edges with an 80 grit paper. I used some of this super glue from the pound shop to glue the Perspex together. Superglue works well on Perspex, although when it sets it can make the Perspex go a little bit cloudy. But this project doesn't need to look pretty and I'm mainly using Perspex just because it won't soak up any water. I made sure that there was no dust or debris underneath before sticking the pieces down and I used spring clamps to hold it in place until the glue set. When I ran out of spring clamps I just used bulldog clips instead. I cut the piece of MDF to size so that it would fit inside the border of the sharpening station. Then I could add the spacers that sit in between the plates and stones. And I used some longer reach screw clamps to hold those pieces down. Had a bit of super glue spillage and uh, it's taken the red rubber end off the spring clamp. Then I just needed to add some smaller spacers to hold the plates and stones in place. 
I used a hacksaw to trim off these overhanging pieces of the border. And I did some final sanding just to ease over any sharp edges. I've got a piece of 40 mil square pine that came from an old bed headboard and I'm going to use this to mount to the bottom of the sharpening station and that will give me something to clamp inside the vise. I drilled pilot holes, countersunk and then secured the perspex to the piece of wood using drywall screws. And then it was time to put it to the test. It seemed nice and stable in the vise. I used a bottle of water with a drop of dish soap for lubrication. Here I'm sharpening an old, very cheap chisel that was in bad shape. I start by sharpening the back of the chisel, firstly at 360 grit on the diamond plate, and then onto the 600 grit side. Then I use the water stone at 1000 grit and then onto the 6000 grit side. This stone cuts really quickly so I really like using this one. Then I charge the piece of MDF with some polishing compound and polish the back of the chisel. And by this point you can see that I've got a nice mirror finish at the very end of the chisel. Then I use my honing guide with the chisel set at about a 30 degree angle and I repeat the process on the cutting edge of the chisel until I can feel a burr along the width of the cutting edge. And finally I remove the burr from the back of the blade on the piece of MDF with one stroke. And here's that satisfyingly shiny mirror finish again. You can see my tape measure hanging on the wall in the reflection. And then I can demonstrate all of those cliched sharpening tests. Shaving my arm, cutting paper with it, and it cuts through softwood with minimal effort. And here it is on end grain too. All of the items I use for sharpening are pretty inexpensive and you can find links to them in the description box below this video if you're interested in buying any of them.